Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews, night 7 of 31 Days of Horror. Uh, what I'm reviewing today is uh, Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. Um, this is a movie, honestly, when I first heard about it, I was like, you know, a Puppet Master movie that's not done by Full Moon, I was a bit iffy. But, um, I heard a lot of good stuff, and uh, eventually found a copy. It took me a hell of a long time. Eventually, I... I ended up paying $31 for this. Now, um... I'm gonna say it right now, that was money well spent. Because, um... This movie seriously kicks ass. I mean... Well, you know what, I'll get into the plot first. The basic plot is this... You know, essentially the same as the first Puppet Master in a way. You got, you know... Andre Toulon... Uh, he's the creator of the puppets or whatever. But everything's... It's its like the first Puppet Master, but kind of just turned on its head a little bit. Um, Andre Toulon in this is a Nazi. It's uh, pretty much obvious right from the beginning. And, um... You know, he's a, a bad guy. There's no if ands, or buts about it. And, um... The puppets are bad as well. They're quite evil. It's kind of awesome. Uh, you got this guy. At the beginning, Andre Toulon is, like, uh, messing around with these, like, girls. He's, like, trying to, trying to do something. You don't know at that point what it is he's trying to do. But stuff happens. His puppets end up killing these two girls. And then the cops come to his place and they shoot him up. And, you know, he's dead. That's it. Uh, flash forward to today, so it's about, what, like 20-something years later. And, uh, this guy's moving back into his parents' house. Uh, I think, I think he was married. Yeah, I think he was married and they got a divorce. And he's moving back into his parents' house and, like, uh, it's only kind of briefly mentioned, but it's, it, you know, yeah, he has, he had a brother who died at some point. It doesn't really say when, but he moves back into the house and he's going through the old stuff and he finds, uh, the blade puppet, you know, and, um, he does some research or whatever. Eventually he sort of realizes what it is, you know, it's one of Andre Toulon's puppets and they're having a big, um, like convention, an auction, um, for like the 30th anniversary or whatever of the, quote, like the Toulon murders. So he takes the puppet, him and like his new girlfriend that he meets, and uh, his other friend, and they go to this convention to, uh, you know, hopefully sell the puppet. And, uh, you know, puppet masterish happenings ensue. I'm not going to go any more into the, the plot because it would definitely be spoilers. And this is movie, you know, you, you need to see it for yourself. Um, what this movie did super right is the puppet designs are awesome. I mean, honestly, that blade puppet is horrifying. It genuinely is. It looks creepy as all hell. And, um, some of the other puppets in there as well, like, um, Tumblr has, like, this really gaunt face... And, uh, essentially what they've done, it looks almost like they've taken, like, the puppets from the pu the Full Moon versions and just kind of shrunk them down. Like, Torch looks a lot smaller than he did in the, the Full Moon ones, but he's just as brutal, <laughs> if not more so. That's another thing this movie does really good, and that's the gore. The gore in this is top-notch. This is, like, you know, hell... This is, like, guinea pig level gore, you know? Um, really, really twisted deaths in this. You know, there's no, no, just, no generic, just, like, throat slashes or whatever. You see, like, throat slashes and, like, the head goes back sort of thing and, like, stuff comes out and everything. There's disembowelments, there's, um, there's a beheading, there's people burned alive, there's, it's... This is the Gorehound's Puppet Master, and I love it. I honestly do. 
And the ending of this movie, I'm not going to give anything away, but it leaves uh, very much a possibility for a sequel, which I really hope happens. Because, honestly, um, I'm going to go one further. Um, this team that made this movie, give them full control of the Puppet Master series. Don't let Charles Band get back in control of it. That seems almost heresy to say, but I have to say, this is the greatest Puppet Master movie ever made. It's even better than Part 3, and Part 3 is like a frickin' masterpiece anyway. You know, for a Puppet Master movie. Uh, all the acting was pretty solid. You actually genuinely liked all of the main characters. You know, um, which is something that... A lot of horror movies have a tendency not to to work with. You know, they tend to make people a bit unlikable, then you cheer when they get killed. These are people you actually like, and when they get killed, you're kind of like, aww. Like, I wanted to see more of that guy, or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a really solid flick. Uh, from what I could tell, also, all pretty much practical gore effects. So that's always a, always a plus. But yeah, for a rating, I'm giving this 10 out of 10. Hell, you know what? I'm doing one better. I'm, I'm putting this in the S class. So this is even better than 10 out of 10. This movie is a perfect example of, a, of what a Puppet Master movie should be. This is a perfect example of what a little creature movie should be. You know? So, there you go. Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. Uh, S class. Great flick. Definitely recommend it. Uh, I'll try to find the trailer, leave it below. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. See you next time.